Good afternoon. You know, in August last year, a, a large group of citizens came uh, to my office from the uh, Surprise Arizona Tea Party, uh, met with me, asked if I would investigate the controversy uh, surrounding uh, President Obama's birth certificate and his ability to serve as the President of the United States. Uh, this group uh, expressed displeasure that no law enforcement agency in the country has ever gone on record indicating that they had either looked into this situation or were willing to do so. I decided to utilize my cold case posse volunteers to investigate uh, the uh, situation at no expense to the taxpayers. I repeat, no expense to the taxpayers. The cold case posse has received much criminal training in investigations from my office and agreed to take on the challenge. The posse re reports directly to the office of the elected sheriff per the Arizona Constitution, consisting of former police officers, attorneys who work side by side for six months investigating this matter. I ask them to conduct the investigation with no preconceived ideas. Call it like it is. The critics will say that this investigation is politics. But let me clear that up on one point. I felt that this investigation could clear the President Obama's name and put people's mind at ease. It would be beneficial to our country as a whole and to the citizens of Maricopa County, Arizona, who came to me saying they felt their concerns were being ignored. The investigation focuses on the electronic file, which you'll see, that was presented as President Obama's long-form birth certificate to the American people and to citizens of Maricopa County by the White House in April of last year. The investigation then also led us to a closer examination of the President's Selected Service registration card. Upon close examination of the evidence, we are prepared today to say we believe probable cause exists indicating that forgery and fraud may have been committed, not only in President Obama's long foreign birth certificate, but more disturbing evidence suggests that another fraud may have been committed regarding his selected service registration card. At the very least, I can tell you this. Based on all of the evidence presented and investigated, I cannot, in good faith, report to you that these documents are authentic. My investig investigators believe that the long-form birth certificate was manufactured electronically and that it did not originate in a paper format as claimed by the uh, White House. 